So they're spinning her around right now in the turning basin so she can back down the bay. I've never been out here for this. Charging in for winter layup at 13.8 knots, the Walter J. McCarthy Jr. through fierce headwinds makes the trip up from Burns Harbor, Indiana in a single day. Flexing her four 3,500 horsepower diesel engines, she plows through the icy fields in the Bay of Green Bay like butter. Built for the American Steamship Company, her keel was laid right here at Bay Shipbuilding Company in 1977, the first thousand footer built in Sturgeon Bay. She was christened the Bell River, undergoing a name change in 1990, and still she's a part of the American Steamship Fleet. followed the McCarthy down the bay and the entertaining antics of her crew on deck. I completely lost track of my position, not realizing just how far I had wandered from home. It was out a mile and a half. I'm down to 22% and they still have half mile to go. It was at 180 feet, I brought it down to 57 feet, where the winds are not as strong. Down to 20%, 2,000 feet to go, 19%. Seventeen percent. Sixteen percent, thirteen hundred feet. This is going to be close. Fourteen percent, eight hundred feet. Thirteen percent, 
500 feet. 12%. I felt like Neil Armstrong when he was trying to land the lunar module in the Sea of Tranquility. Oh, where the heck am I? Down to 11%. I've never let it get below 25%. Low battery, landing aircraft, it says. Confirm in three, two, one seconds. Critically low battery, aircraft landing automatically. I gotta go find this thing. Tranquility base here. The Eagle has landed, albeit in a disabled parking space. <laughs> that was close. I landed with 6% battery and it was just barely over the land, maybe by 10 feet. Never do that again. I've never flown that far, 7,700 feet out. Oh. I'm pretty nervous. 6% battery. And did you hear how fast it was eating up battery? Because I had it on sport mode, which is super fast. Trying to get it home as fast as I could. Funny, it doesn't look a mile and a half away. But it is. Note to self, if you're out a mile or more, make sure you have 50% battery. Fresh battery. percent charge. All right, we'll head down now to Sunset Park. I got some dandy footage though, dandy. The ride back to town was long and quiet, and I kept thinking about just how close I came to losing my drone. It made me a little apprehensive to want to put it up again near the shipyard, where I would likely encounter other drones all competing for the same airspace. The McCarthy is a warrior, having survived a collision in 2008 while docking for winter layup in Superior, Wisconsin, creating a seven foot long and four foot wide gash in her hull that flooded her engine room. The ship partially sank with her stern coming to rest on the silty bottom in 20 feet of water. She underwent $4.2 million in repairs and lost out on 45 days of shipping, five cargo loads, and a half million dollars in profits the following spring. The captain puts the throttle to her starboard bow thruster as she turns on her heels and slips aside the day's earlier arrival, the Stewart Court.
Welcome home, Walter J. McCarthy, Jr.